So check this out. I haven't done a bike project in a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to motorize this mountain bike with that Predator 212 motor. The idea is to have a lightweight, as light as possible with this motor and have a lightweight vehicle that I can still ride off road like a BMX bike or a mountain bike and have some fun with it. So I plan to take about maybe a month or so, a few weeks to get it done. So you guys should you know, subscribe to keep track of this, hit the little bell icon just so you can see the updates as I go along with this thing. It's just something for fun and that'd be interesting. Maybe at the end of it, I'll give it away, sell it, I don't know. So stay tuned. So design for the bike is gonna be something like this. Um, a simplistic frame, basically it's gonna be uh, tubular. And in this, I'm trying to decide whether I'm gonna have it house the fuel. So if I can have enough volume in there, hold like a gallon of fuel, that'd be kind of cool. Um, I hadn't decided on suspension. The current bike has a uh, full suspension front and rear. I don't know if I'm going to do a rear suspension or just have it rigid. The front will probably have some kind of suspension. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. Maybe some better shocks or maybe even rigid. I'm, I don't know yet. So this will kind of give me an idea of what direction I'm going to go in. And so the first thing I'm going to do is create the mounting plate for the engine, the Predator 212, and start with these tubes and then decide on what volume I need for that and how thick it needs to be. So now it's time to make the mounting plate for the Predator 212. I was looking at my plate, trying to see how thick I should go, trying to keep it strong, but at the same time trying to keep it as um, light as possible. And I think this is going to work. This is 1 8 And it's going to also have the frame going through here with some gussets to make it uh, strong laterally. So let me cut this out. I'm going to also slot it so that the motor can go back and forth to adjust the chain tension. So now I gotta make a template for the now we gotta make a template for the base of the motor. So that I know how to mount up how it's gonna how the plate should be shaped. So here's a base right here. I'm gonna use a piece of basic paper. Cut out the size. And I'm going to tape this up. Use this old dirty glove to, to mark it up, see if this works. So these are my holes, and um, that's a template. So that easy. So now I'm going to take down the template so that it doesn't move. I want to leave some space so that this can slide back and forth. So when I slot it. It'd be like an inch long slots in it. So start the holes here, and then there'll be another hole here, and this will be slotted out along here. So let's just Put some, punch some indentations. 
directly in the center of these. All right, now it's time to drill some pilot holes in here. So now that I got these holes drilled out, I'm gonna uh, slot them, go between the two holes with a cutoff wheel and a file to get those nice and slotted. So once you, uh, you know, cut out with the cutout wheel and do some filing, you get a nice little, nice little slot. So part of the technique is to use old cutoff discs that have been that are small now, and that allows you to get a shorter cut than, say, for instance, a big um, cutoff wheel, which will go too far and cause you to have, you know, an ugly cut. So. This is the way to do it. Save your old discs that get too small and use those for smaller cuts. Now that you got your engine plate cut, you can come and see if it matches up, how well it fits. And now you can see that I'll have the ability to slide this back and forth to get tension on the chain with these slots. Okay.